why we don't have flying cars yet. We won't have flying cars until we have ground-based cars that drive themselves. Any particular innovation must achieve all the required outcomes to satisfy the overall desire. One of the essential outcomes of transportation is arriving safely. Making a small mistake while flying is a lot more dangerous than while driving. Over 37,000 fatal vehicle accidents happen in the USA every year. Almost all of the car accidents are the result of some kind of human error. Until you can prevent the human errors in ground-based cars, you can't do it in air cars. Innovation follows predictable paths. Trying to jump ahead increases costs and difficulty by an order of magnitude. In other words, we must walk before you run. It's not entirely true that you can't skip ahead, but it usually is technologically expensive and the market just isn't ready. In Is Automotive Industry Dead or Just Stuck? My associate, Len Kaplan, explains how improving safety will lead to the next generation more efficient, more affordable, and more desirable cars. Len lays out each step for all the technological improvements to arrive at the next paradigm of cars. A flying car must be lightweight. Except for using extremely expensive exotic materials, you can't make flying cars light enough and strong enough to survive a crash. The best way to avoid damage is to avoid crashing. Car companies, with a lot of push from government, have been focusing on fuel efficiency. Consumers have consistently chosen vehicles they perceive to be safer over fuel efficient vehicles. The boom of SUV sales was heavily motivated by safety concerns. So consumers are saying safety is the underserved desire. If you look at accident statistics for the past 14 years, you see safety has not improved. Government has been pushing car manufacturers to produce alternative energy cars, but serious technological problems stand in the way of making alternative energy cars viable. There's a technology gap and a consumer gap. Alternative energy is a future step, but it's not the next step. The next step in cars is crash avoidance. Cars today are safer in a crash than ever before. But annual deaths from car accidents in the USA have remained over 37,000 for the past 14 years. Why are cars getting safer in a crash, but deaths remain the same? In 2007, 2.5 million people were injured in vehicle accidents. There's only so much you can do to make a car crash safe. As long as the number of car crashes remains high, deaths and injuries will remain high. Prevent the crash prevent injuries, and save lives. Conveniently, the things that prevent crashes also increase fuel efficiency. Plus, the natural progression of crash avoidance also leads to electric cars. So that leads us back to flying cars. Until the technology is developed to prevent accidents on the ground, flying cars will remain too expensive and too dangerous for average drivers. When will we have flying cars? We will have flying cars when we have cars that drive themselves.